let's consider rationalizing or simplifying trinomial solves having three terms at the denominator in mathematics at times you will be required to simplify or rationalize one sold only at the denominator to solve for only one term at the denominator you will consider this root 7 multiply this with the numerator and with the denominator then you simplify further for this second one you will equally multiply the numerator and the denominator with this pure sword which is a single irrational number and for this you're going to multiply this with the square root of 6 and the square root of 6 which is at the denominator and for this this is root 21 over 7 and for this this is 2 root 7 over 7 and for this we have 5 root 6 minus root 30 divided by 6 we can also have two terms at the denominator and when you have two terms or more at the denominator it is known as conjugate or complementary swords for the one term at the denominator we have no plus or minus at the denominators but in conjugate here two terms at the denominator you're going to see an operator either plus or minus here we have a minus also here we have a minus at times you can also have a plus assuming that this is a plus we're going to consider this denominator then multiply this with the square root of 2 and 1 and we're going to change this operator which is here a plus to a minus here at the denominator we are going to repeat the same thing here then we're going to simplify this further and for this we're going to also consider the denominator where the binomial sword exists separated by just one operator of either plus or minus we're going to multiply this by 7 plus the square root of 11 divided by 7 plus the square root of 11 next we're going to simplify this further this is a recall of how we deal with one term at the denominator and two terms at the denominator but how do we deal with two operators having three terms which are one two and three at the denominator for the complete video course on this subject click the link in the description or in the pinned comment section to solve this problem you're going to group this into two to reduce it to a conjugate of two terms do this whenever you have three terms like this at the denominator if here is a minus and here is a plus the grouping will not change respecting any operator 
separating the two terms. To simplify or rationalize this sort, step number one, write down the given expression. Step number two, group the denominator. This is now one term and this is the second term separated by the minus operator. Next, we're going to multiply this denominator with 1 plus the square root of 3. This is the first term. This operator is a minus. I will change this to a plus, the square root of 5. Divide by, I will repeat this down at the denominator. This is step number two. Changing this operator minus to a plus. Step number three. We're going to multiply out the numerator and multiply out the denominator. One multiplied by one is one. Next, 1 multiplied by plus root 3 will give you plus root 3. Next, 1 will multiply by plus root 5. We're going to have plus root 5. Next, add the denominator. 1 will multiply by 1. We're going to have 1. Next, 1 will multiply by root 3. We're going to have plus root 3. Next, 1 will multiply by root 5. We're going to have plus root 5. 1 is done. Going through all these terms. Next, we're going to consider plus the square root of 3. Plus the square root of 3 multiplied by 1. We're going to have plus the square root of 3. Next, plus the square root of 3, we multiply the square root of 3. We're going to have plus the square root of 3 times 3. This and this will multiply inside the square root, according to the law of sod. Next, the square root of 3 will multiply the square root of 5. And both we multiply inside the square root. We are done with the square root of 3. Having gone through all these terms. Next, we are going to consider minus the square root of 5. Minus the square root of 5 multiplied by 1. We are going to have minus the square root of 5. Next, minus the square root of 5 we multiply plus the square root of 3. We're going to have minus inside the square root 5 we multiply by 3. Next, minus the square root of 5 we multiply plus the square root of 5. Minus times plus will give you a minus. And here, we're going to have a minus. Next, this root 5 we multiply this root 5. And according to the law of sword, both will multiply inside the square root. Next, at the denominator, plus the square root of 5, we cancel minus the square root of 5. Here, 3 times 5 is 15. And 5 times 3 is also 15. Plus 15, we take away minus 15. Next, we're going to have 1 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 5. Divide by. Here, we have a constant 1. This is root 3. And this is also root 3. 1 orange plus another orange will give you 
two oranges. Here we are going to have plus two root three. Next, three times three here is nine. The square root of nine will return three. Hence, for everything here, it is plus three. Next, here we have a minus. This is 5 times 5, 25. The square root of 25 will return 5. Here, we are going to have 5. Next, at the numerator, we have 1 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 5. And at the denominator, here we have 2 multiply by the square root of 3. Next, these are constants. Hence, they can add or subtract. 1 plus 3 is 4. And 4 minus 5 will return minus 1. We have solved a problem having 3 terms at the denominator. However, our aim is not yet achieved. We have obtained two terms at the denominator. The irrational number or the radical still exists. Our aim is to eliminate all irrational numbers from this denominator. Now we have a conjugate in the form of two terms at the denominator. That means we are going to simplify further. Next, we are going to multiply this denominator by the numerator and also by the denominator. Remember to change the operator here, minus to plus. Next, we are going to simplify further. 1 times 2 root 3. We are going to have 2 root 3. Next, 1 will multiply by 1. We are going to have plus 1. 1 is done. Next, the square root of 3 will multiply 2 root 3. We are going to have plus 2 multiply by this and this will multiply inside the square root. We are done with this. Next, the square root of 3 will multiply by 1. And we are going to have plus the square root of 3. Next, the square root of 5 will multiply 2 root 3. We are going to have plus 2, that is a 1 here, they will multiply to return 2, times inside the square root, 5 will multiply by 3. We are done with this. Next, root 5 will multiply by 1. We are going to have plus root 5. Next, at the denominator, 2 root 3 will multiply 2 root 3. You are going to have 2 times 2 is 4 times n the square root. 3 will multiply by 3. Next, 2 root 3 will multiply by 1. You are going to have plus 2 root 3. This is done. Next, minus 1 will multiply 2 root 3. You're going to have minus 2 root 3. Next, minus times plus is minus. And 1 times 1 is 1. Next, at the denominator, plus 2 root 3 will cancel out minus 2 root 3. We would have said this times this and this times this. But 
I didn't want to jump any step. Next, this is 2 root 3 plus 1. This is 3 times 3 will give you a 9. The square root of 9 will return 3. And 2 times 3 will give you 6. And for everything here, it is plus 6. This is plus root 3. This is plus 2 root 15. And here we have plus root 5. Everything divide by. This is 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 4 times 3 will give us 12. Here we are going to have 12. And this is minus 1. Next, if this is lemon and this is lemon, we are going to have 2 lemons plus 1 lemon. We are going to end up having 3 lemons. And for this, I'm going to have 3 root 3. 1 plus 6 will give us 7. This is plus 2 root 15. And here we have plus root 5. At the denominator, we have 11. We have successfully eradicated all radicals, irrational numbers, swords at the denominator. Swords at the numerator is not a problem. If this assumed to be an orange, be an orange, and root 15 assumed to be an apple, and root 5 assumed to be mango, this is a constant. You can see we cannot add or subtract any of these terms. They are separate variables. And for root 15, we cannot break it down any further. Because the square root of 15, if we draw a line and write 15 out, 2 cannot go into 15 without a remainder. Let's go with 3. 3 is a factor. And in 15, it will give us 5. 3 cannot go. 4 cannot go. But 5 can go into this 1. Once we get 1, we stop. 3 got no pair. And 5 got no pair. Hence, both will go into the square root. And we are going to have root 15 back again. You see, we cannot simplify root 15 any further. And this becomes our final answer. You can leave your answer in this form or in this form. And it doesn't matter which term comes first in the arrangement. Our aim here is to eliminate all the radicals at the denominator. And now that all the radicals, irrational numbers, is eliminated. We have completely rationalized the denominator and this becomes our final result. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.